guys, what's going on? It is Dylan here today with a DJI Spark tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you guys the return to home feature, also known as RTH, um, how to use it and when to use it. Okay, so as you can see here, we have this nice, lovely landing slash launching pad that we can uh, set our Spark on or any drone for that matter to take off from. And now we are here in the DJI Go4 app. And guys, as always, before you ever take off on any flight, it's important that you set your home point. So up in the upper right corner where the three dots are, we're gonna hit it. Then the very top icon, the little drone on the far left, upper left corner, we're going to hit it. And then on home point settings, about the middle of the screen, you're going to want to tap on the little arrow pointing up with the H by it. Then we're going to click OK. And now as you can see, our home point has been recorded and our altitude at return to home is 50 meters. I need to talk about that real quick just to make sure because this is all about return to home. Up in the upper right corner, we're gonna hit that again. Upper left corner, the drone icon, again, we're gonna tap that. And then if you'll scroll down a little bit, you'll see two things here at the top, RTH at current altitude, which that means basically if you're flying 20 feet high and you hit the return to home button, it's gonna come back at 20 feet high. Would not recommend that. You'll notice that that's not checked on mine. The reason I don't recommend that is because if you're flying around trees or other natural or man-made or natural or man-made structures, it's going to hit that because it's uh, just going to come in a straight line to the home point. So I would not recommend that unless you're flying in a big, wide open, huge field where it's not going to matter what altitude you are. But here on return to home altitude, this is where it is important to set this because. This is going to be the altitude that your drone either rises or lowers to depending on where you're flying at what altitude and then it's going to come in a straight line back to our home point which in our case is our landing pad so i've examined and looked around here and i've determined that 50 meters is going to be good enough to be up higher or above any structures remotely around where i'm flying so make sure that you set that accordingly so now we're going to hit the x to go back and we are going to launch the drone and what we're going to do is is we are just going to uh, fly just a bit of ways and then we are going to uh, just hit the return to home button and guys on the return to home button there is an actual physical button on your controller in the upper left corner that you can use or you can simply uh, use the icon, do you see the three icons on the left? The one in the middle with the H with the arrow pointing down to it, that's the return to home button. So let's just fly away for now. Now a couple things, when would you use the return to home button? So let's say you fly the drone and you physically lose sight of it and your orientation's all messed up and you're in an unfamiliar area and you don't know the surroundings around you and you're like, you know, I can't hear it, don't know where it is. That's a good time to push the return to home button because it's going to start coming back home and it kind of help, helps you be a little worry free a little stress free where you don't have to worry about it as much and so another instance could be if you're flying so far away and you lose signal um, then your interface here that we're looking at it would just be a black screen and you wouldn't be able to hit that return to home button so then you could use the one on the controller or if you're just uh, kind of lazy like me sometimes and you're just out flying and you're done flying and you don't want to have to worry about flying it back, just hit the return to home button. <laughs> so anyways, as you can see guys, we are 142 feet high and we are about 400, well 350. We're gonna get up to about 400 feet away. And then what I'm gonna do is I am going to on the left side, those three icons, the one in the middle, I am going to tap return to home. And as you can see, it says return to home land. Aircraft will turn towards the home point and return from the preset RTH altitude. Use the virtual joysticks to adjust flight altitude and direction. Press the RTH button on your remote controller to cancel RTH. So we're going to swipe over to the right. And now guys, my hands are off the sticks. I'm not touching it. And it is going to come back and land at the home point or it should get pretty close. So see there guys, my hands are not on the controller. I'm leaving it right there. Here is our launch pad or landing pad. And I can already hear the spark up there. And here it comes lowering itself down. Let's see how close it actually gets to where it took off. Is it going to land on the landing pad? All 
I would say that isn't bad at all. As you can see, landed on the landing pad when we hit the return to home button or RTH button. But uh, anyways, guys, there you have it. There's RTH, return to home. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned anything, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button. And uh, also, please be sure to subscribe if you're into the DJI Spark. Plan on doing a whole lot more DJI Spark videos. And for those of you guys who uh, uh, follow my channel for the Mavic Pro videos, don't give up on me on those. Still got a lot more Mavic Pro stuff coming up. Always thinking of fresh ideas and uh, cool stuff to add to your arsenal of uh, DJI Mavic Pro knowledge and abilities. As always, guys, I enjoyed it. This is Dylan.